Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tinker Tuesday. This is where we do do it yourself. And I wanted to finish this project, the H400i and ZXT. I had a lot of dislikes on my other video, the, the most popular one, because it, well, some of the comments I won't uh, repeat verbatim, but I. A lot of them I did not actually finish the build. I kept uh, postponing and postponing and doing at least one part per uh, video, which wasn't good. Uh, apologize. Anyway, in the beginning you saw me vacuuming my desk because the previous video showed my desk had little white uh, dust marks in there, so I vacuumed it up. It's always best to keep your area clean. I am showcasing the water cooling parts from XSPC. I have a toolbox that has a lot of different compartments and these are all the fittings that I needed to get. There are a lot of them. And I wanted to list them as they showed up but i believe it's probably more efficient to display it in the description below in case you're curious we have the xspc these are one quarter threads i have a t fitting for the uh the drainage uh section in the back of the case we have XSPC 14 millimeter rigid tubing elbow fittings. These are all black chromes, by the way. I have the 1 4th uh, inch 45 degree rotatory fitting. I have 90 degree rotatory fittings. I have 5 male to male fittings. Sorry, I had to put on my glasses. Virgin 2, a 14 millimeter rigid tubing. Uh, adapters, 1 fourth to 14 millimeter. I have 90 degree rotary fittings and triple seal fittings. What you see here is for maintenance uh, prevention. I have those filters, uh, XSBC inline filters and uh, antibacterial uh, drops. I also have a attachment for the drill to do uh, grinding the uh, the tubing so that it makes sure it doesn't uh, cut the the inner tube because when you cut one of the tubes uh, it, it does leave a sharp edge that can easily cut the uh, the rubber sealant and uh, you don't want that to happen that's the thing that cut, stops the water from going in So it's, it's obviously a tight fit. This is a micro ATX case. The H400, oh by the way, this is the regular H400. These are sold out. They're no longer, NZXT is no longer making them. The only way you can find them is probably on eBay. But uh, I did want to, since I don't really stream anymore, I, I did want to <laughs> give this uh, PC away to one of my mods. But uh, I'm deciding on whether uh, I want to send this out to uh, maybe as a subscriber goal or a, uh, a channel goal for this channel. I, I, I know it. I've said in the past I don't like gimmicky things, um, especially for this channel. I like things to be organic. 
when it grows here. Well, uh, as far as growth here, um, when I did the run for Chadwick uh, Boseman, the tribute, I, I did not expect gaining a, a thousand subs like that. But that happened last year. Um, and I was I'm still uh, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, some people have stayed. Some people, I don't think they understand what I say when, I, when I'm when i streaming or when I'm doing these YouTube videos. Uh, English is probably a second language. Uh, if I look at my metrics, a lot of subscribers are from different parts of the area, uh, not in the United States. So. Here we are doing these fittings. This this was really difficult. Um, I wanted the, this is PETG, but I'm treating it as if it's glass tubing. So I'm I did not bend any loops. Uh, my previous water cooling build before I, I left uh, Virginia had uh, bends in it, but. I I put up my heat gun to heat up, uh, just to heat up, and the temperature in my room just shot up to a hundred something degrees, and uh, I I couldn't, I don't think I could last too long in, in that kind of a uh, environment, even though I do I did spend uh, two years here. this place without uh, air conditioning which was uh, ironically during the Saitima one punch man uh, challenge which is pro probably one of the requirements you read but here you are seeing me measuring twice three times almost because once you cut you can't get it back I uh, it's always good to have a little extra and I'm fitting the tubes this particular part uh, goes to the from the GPU to the CPU So how I know which is the enter and exit of a of a setup is I always think right of way as far as cars go allows uh, I'll reserve that for entering water and then left will be exiting water. So the, the GPU block, the right hand side will receive the, the pump water first, right, the intake, and then it goes out and reaches into the CPU block. Then from the CPU block, we go into the first 120 millimeter radiator. And then from that 120 millimeter radiator, I have a 280 millimeter radiator in the front. These are all XSPC PC parts, by the way. And this is not sponsored, even though all my parts are from XSPC. PC. It's just how um, I chose. They were uh, the more affordable option. And I like the uh, design. Uh, the low profile and well not low profile but the uh, simplistic minimalist design here you are seeing me doing the fittings so these are triple seal fittings which means once you uh, push it in, there's a double seal inside of the, the fitting. You push the uh, glass or the PTG tubing all the way in and you it'll be snug. And then there's a fitting inside in between the, uh, the closing of the fitting or the thing that you roll around and the actual uh, edge of the fitting. So that creates a third seal.
It's pretty tight. Uh, I haven't had a week in this kind of setup, but it definitely makes it challenging because yeah, when you push it all the way in, uh, it it requires a bit of force. Not too much force, but uh, there's a tip I can recommend if you wash your parts or have a little bit of uh, what do you call it. I, I I do have a, a lubricant sealant or what do you call it a it's called a it, it's it's a it's a type of grease but it's made for water cooling uh, parts i put it on the uh, o-rings it's like a silicon based uh, i guess grease and it, it doesn't leave residue and safe for water and it's uh, environmentally safe it helps uh slide those uh, parts in So one of the difficult parts was the this uh, excess PC photon reservoir. It's, I have the 170 millimeter one. This was challenging because it had a bracket on there that you had to screw in from the back. And I this case doesn't have much space in it. I wasn't sure where to put place this, but I was able to have it snugged right there. Uh, in the middle of the case and it, it's sort of when you look at the pictures it lines up in the middle and I, I kind of like that there's a weird discoloration on the ring there's like a discoloration ring on the bottom of this tube or a photon reservoir that that uh, was there while uh, when the package arrived I don't know if it was pre-filled or used but uh I, I'm still uh, thankful for the part. I, I filled it with water. It doesn't seem to leak. Might be a residue from something else. Um, it did not say anything like it was a display kind of thing. It was in his uh, brand new packaging, but I don't know. I. It took me about three years to uh, start doing this build in the first place. Anyway, uh, here I am doing the cable management in the back. So before I, I go any further, I needed to route all the cables, uh, make sure that I can put stuff in the motherboard before I filled it with water. It's always a good idea when you're doing these things to do a fitting first or draw out some sort of diagram before you commit to a uh, putting water in it or making it permanent because you never know uh, where the the wires are going to be. So the XSPC or not, the NZXT H400 has a lot of channels and ways to do cable management. Here I am installing the SSDs. These are one terabyte. Uh, it's got SSHDs. Uh, it's got 74 megs of cache. I went with the uh, SSD uh, SSHD option because it's cheaper. These are like $50 drives, uh, and storage uh, is pretty good. I'll have a Samsung Evo 970 in the front. Uh, it looks pretty good that way. So here I am doing a fitting that's uh, called a pass-through fitting for a bulkhead, or they're normally called bulkheads. I'm lining it up with the back of the case so that I can drop it uh, down. This is for the intake of the uh, 280 millimeter radiator from the pump. What I have in, is an all uh, puncher. This is normally used for fabric and things like that, but uh, I'm using it to score the mark where I have to put the drill in. It's pretty challenging. Uh, I haven't used a all in a long time. I've only used it for builds. So here is my low powered Dewalt cheap uh, thing from uh, that I bought from Home Depot. The drill bit stronger than the uh, the torque of my, my drill. And here is the uh, this bit I, I recommend getting. It uh, can cut through 
I think this case is made out of steel and aluminum. Or may, maybe mostly steel, I have to look it up. Here I'm drilling uh, down to get the one fourth inch hole, which I, you always want to make a little bit bigger so that it doesn't uh, thread the screws. And I, I place tape on there so that I don't accidentally scratch the case. And here it's important to file the edges so that you don't cut yourself and also since you're putting a fitting in there, you don't want anything to uh, end up being uh, cut. I probably should remove all the other parts, but I I managed to vacuum up. Uh, it, it cleaned up pretty nice, uh, removing the, the filings, and it came out pretty smooth with the fi with the filing stuff. So I ordered these, our braided uh, cable mod stuff. I, uh, I ordered these and they came overnight, but uh, I realized uh, after the fact my CS650 uh, uh, power supply uh, from Corsair uh, already has the, well it, it has the thing attached the, uh, for the motherboard power. Here is the one of the more difficult uh, things to line up and uh, I used the bar to separate that part of the case, but here it is. It's all filled up and there's some air bubbles in here. I am uh, in the beginning of the video. I'll, uh, I'll show a picture of it all cleared up. Basically, this is the case. Uh, you want to see more about the progress of this. It, it took about three years to make. We do have a video of me cutting the front of the case as, as you see for better airflow. These kind of cases are notorious for not having much airflow because it only has two vents on the side. Anyway, I, I hope you like this video. If you like this kind of content, please like this video. Uh, that way I know yeah, that I should make more of these or that I'm doing a good job. And uh, subscribe uh, for, for more videos. I do these every Tuesday and I rotate my videos every three days. This is John Nazadan signing out. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you're essential.